everybody, Mike here, March 8th, 2013. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, indeed. Whoo, another busy week. I'm glad it's over. Um, thanks to everybody that subscribed last week. I do appreciate that very much. Don't forget, check out the old videos. Maybe leave a comment or two. Shout out to the Big Beast Bear. Also, happy birthday to ADTR8396 Mike Rowley and the JBTron Jose. Happy birthday to the two of you. And wait, what's this? March 13th. Who's turning seven years old? Oh, Kale. Happy birthday, Kale. Happy birthday to my great nephew, Kale. Yes, indeed. And he watches my videos. Yup. Happy birthday to Kale. You! Today's little food jam is from Smelling Pimp 80. Woo smelling, smelling Pimp 80. What did you get me? You got me um, a little container here of some colonial. That's it. Corn what? Mmm. Corn mutton. We're ready for that. And also preserved pure snakehead fish in brine yes indeed there we go there check that out you know um i'm wondering i think we're going to do this one first he uh, got me a few drinks as well and i'll be uh, drinking one of these to probably wash some of this down but let's get a i wonder how much sodium is is in this oh my god 1377 milligrams of sodium per serving yikes um, uh-oh, uh-oh, what does it say right there? Mikey's got some cooking to do in perfect English, well cooked before used. So we're going to have to cook this stuff up. Oh, I heard a little come out of there when I opened that. That smells kind of sweet and fishy funky. Um, and that is most definitely a raw fish smell. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go cook this up. So I think I'm going to cook up a little bit of this, then we'll open this and try that out, and then I'll get that yummy drink that we're going to do. He sent me several drinks, um, and I think I'm only going to use one now, and then as shows go on, I'll probably use an individual drink each time to go ahead and wash some stuff down with. So I'll be right back while I get some of this cooked up. Okay, man, my place is funky right now. It smells like a sweet kind of funky fish in here, and this stuff just caramelized in the pan when I was cooking it. I hope this is thoroughly cooked all the way through. It looks like it shrunk down pretty much, and it's seared pretty good, but it just looks so sticky and, and sugary, like somebody poured honey on it. So I have a feeling this is going to be very sweet. Um, here we go. Preserved pure snakehead fish in brine. Yum. There we go. We'll start off with a little small piece like that first. Oh, that's a bone. And another bone. Oh my god! Criminy. This is supposed to be mixed up with a whole lot of something else because this crap is salty. Oh my god. Wow. I think there's a little bit more sodium in this than what the uh, than what it says on the ingredients. I don't taste fish. I don't taste sweet. All I taste is salt. Wow, this is high blood pressure killer. Oh. That's a big bone. Oh my God. These aren't little bones that you can crunch either. These are like little needles, man. These things are tough. Oh, <laughs> Woo. oh, disgusting. Oh. 
that's way, way, way too much salt. Oh. Okay, let's get this thing open. Oh my God. Oh, I just cannot believe. Excuse me. How salty that was. Horrible. Oh, corn muff, corn muffin. <laughs> corn mutton, here we go. Oh. I cannot get over that. That was like pure salt. Corn mutton. Ooh wee, that smells like, mm mm. That smells like, uh, that smells like a healthy serving of cat food right there, product of Australia. Let's bump some of this out. Oosh. Ugh. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm getting it everywhere. Ah. Oh. Smelling Pimp 80, man. You got some stuff that's reeking up my place, dude. Here's the... There's the beef, right? Where's the beef? <laughs> There's the beef, baby. And some little gloopy watts of fat in there as well. All right. Something tells you this is going to taste like that canned corned beef as well. Oh my God, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Mmm. Tell me this is cooked, right? Corn mutton with juices, corned. I mean, that means it's probably, it's cooked, right? It has to be. Because it tastes like blood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Two bites, mmm, that's good. It tastes like, uh, tastes, it tastes like a, a real fatty, piece of salami and a hot dog. Oh, I'm gonna just put that right there. And one of the drinks that he gave me, thank goodness, this, this has to taste good. Uh, Materba Yerba Mate Soda. Mm. So I know this is gonna taste halfway decent to wash down this stuff. Oh, dude, you. You took me downtown with that, with that snakehead fish. Cheers. Oh, very low sodium. Yes, thank goodness. Very heavily carbonated. I've had mate before, but it has a small hint of it. It tastes kind of like a, like a, like a grape soda of some kind. Grape with some wood added. Not a bad flavor. Oh, I just got a little bit of that fish that was hiding up in here. What? Oh. Wow. Mmm, that's it. Herba Mate Soda, Colonial Mutton, Corn Mutton, and Preserve Pure Snakehead Fish in Brine. Thanks, Smelling Pimp 80. Appreciate that very much. That's it. I shall see you next time. Get some sun, get some exercise, Whew. be healthy, S stay away from the sodium, and I will see you next time. Bye. Whoo! Yeah, it's an hour later. I can feel my blood pressure going up. My stomach's churning like I'm going to have the Hershey squirts a little bit later. Oh my God, that stuff was just...
way too salty. You're 